All right, guys, so there's another part at the end of this video. So watch the main video and then wait for the end to watch my recap. Uh, I've been editing, been drinking it, and I've got a different couple of flavors that I've just added in. What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone is surviving the quarantine life uh, like I am. Um, a little bit different setup this time because we've got the computer and the office has now been moved to home. So, um, fun times. Anyways, the best thing about working from home is that we have plenty of whiskey to kind of go through. So, um, today's review is one that I have been looking forward to for a hell of a long time. Um, I see so many people talk about it. Uh, it is a Star Wars. It's been someone, it's an exclusive release. Um, I kind of feel like I'm going on my first date with a really hot chick and I'm really going to disappoint her. Um, so if you know what that means, you're just nervous as hell because you want this to work out perfectly. Um, the reviews that I've seen from everywhere have been amazing. Um, so we'll see how we go. Now, first off, thank you to John uh, for sending me the first sample of this. He gave me 30 mils of this. He had a bottle. I couldn't get a bottle anyway. This was released in 2019. Uh, we're 2020 now. And I didn't even know about it until probably about four or five months ago. So John was um, kind enough to send me a sample of this, uh, which is what I'm going to open tonight because I've had this for about a month, month and a half, and I just haven't had a chance to get into it. Since then though, I have been able to actually find a bottle and I'm super excited because that will sit for quite some time, I think, uh, and we'll open that up for a really special occasion. So let's get into it. Um, I have seen some mixed reviews. Now, this is the first video review that I've been able to find, which is gonna be my own. I would have thought there would have been plenty of people would have done a heap of these reviews, but I haven't seen anyone do it. Um, I haven't even seen any real tasting notes except for from the Whiskey Club. So let me just get into the, into the bottle for a moment. This is a Whiskey Club exclusive, or I should say, was a Whiskey Club exclusive. Um, they sold out in the day. Are you right there, Ghost? I know, it's it, it's not great. Come here, come on. There we go. Um, Whiskey Club uh, exclusive, it's a 700 mil, which a lot of these craft ones are generally 500, so I'm really happy about that. It is a single malt Australian whiskey, charred red wine cask. So. They do a lot of red wine casks anyway, but I think the main part here is it's the charred red wine, which is the biggest thing. So having a read on the back, this limited release whiskey is the marriage of old world and new. Uh, we've identified a parcel of barrels that best suits a traditional whiskey wood, po um, wood policy. Are you right? Get down. We've just gone for a walk. Um, shave. Hang on. Traditional whiskey wood policy. Shave, toast, and re-charring the barrels before being filled. These French oak and American oak hog, uh, hog sheds, super, charge our innovative red wine barrel um, characteristics of jammy fruits, oak, tannis, and body to create something truly extraordinary to our friends at the Whiskey Club. So, um, yeah, it's a sexy red color. Um, this is, as I said, it, it's an exclusive kind of one for that. It's a 48%. Uh, normally most of their actual whiskies sit around that 40 to 42 percent because I've got a few of the Novas, the two, fo the uh, two folds and that kind of stuff there. Um, they normally sit around that 40 to 42. So this is on the higher end of that and there's 27 drinks on that. Ghost is having a drink. Okay, let's get into it. So really nice color. Ooh, definitely smell a hell of a lot of red wine on there. I don't think I can pick up anything else yet. Probably not the best nose for it today. Oh, that's good. I only put a tiny little bit on my, on my um, palate to start off with. That's good. What flavors in there? Definitely a jammy strawberry kind of flavor compared to 
there are other Star Wars that they do. This is a very, very, very different paste um, for it. Bit of spice at the end. Um, <coughs> flavor sits for quite some time as well. So it's a nice long finish on it. It's actually really simple to drink too. So it's not a harsh, uh, it's not harsh on my palate. It's not giving me a massive burn or anything like that. Um, is it my favorite one that I've had? So far, yeah. This is, this is a really, really lovely drink. And now I know why they're very hard to find, why this was really uh, a special find at the end of the day for me. Um, that one will be opened up for something special for me and um, we'll sit back and relax on that one. But um, yeah, if you can get your hands on one of these, I would suggest doing so, especially if you like your Star Wars originally. Um, this is actually really good. So guys, I have got a ton more uh, videos being made over the next couple of weeks as well. So we're gonna kind of ramp it up a little bit. I've got a lot to catch up on. Um, mainly a whiskey loot. Uh, I've got a lot of the subscription boxes from that and there's three drinks in each one. So what I'm gonna do is probably do three in a week, try and catch up and get them out of the way. Um, but if you've got a whiskey that you want me to try, if you have a question about whiskey, now, as I've always said, I'm no pro. I know, I know what I like and I know what I don't like. Um, but if you've got any requests or anything like that, just hit me up. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, you know, just tell me what you're thinking, tell me what you're drinking this weekend, or tell me what whiskey you've got in the quarantine that you uh, you don't want to open up, but it just keeps staring at you. I've got one up top there, which which is the straight bat. Um, I don't want to open it up, but I reckon that's going to get opened up in at least a week if I have to stay and work from home. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you next time and make sure you subscribe. See us. That's fucking great. All right, so as I said, I'm sitting here editing and I've been drinking away and really just opening up the palate and um, tasting a few different flavors on there. Thanks, Carl. Um, raisins have been really dominant. Uh, the strawberry jam, which I mentioned about before, that real jammy kind of flavor has been really dominant. And the red wine, which is really uh, well known for Star Wars. But the, 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 the sultanas or the, the raisins flavor hadn't actually come out before. And after sitting for a little bit, putting it on the palate, um, it's basically there. So again, I'm still loving this and, and I wish I had another bottle. But um, yeah, if you find one, guys, as I said, grab one. Catch you next week.